Yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial today because there's been a lot of confusion in the community. Because uh, there's so many things with 3D that are just confusing to people who are new um, and people who are experienced just because there's so many steps and so many issues that people are having. So, uh, there are other tutorials on YouTube that pretty much go over exactly what I'm gonna be showing you guys today, but there's a few things that they don't cover that I thought are very important. So, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do those today. So this is going to be how to get CSGO maps into things like Blender, Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, pretty much anything that you can open up an FBX with, you're going to be able to uh, have the maps from CSGO in. So download everything that I'm leaving in the description. It should be the VMF importer, the Blender script files, and like the plugins for Blender. Blender download. Uh, I'm using uh, 2.9, which is the newest release. It doesn't really matter as long as you have a newer version, it should work. I'm also going to be leaving a download for Java because you will need Java for um, BSP source and the BSP source uh, download. So basically, we're going to start off by getting our plugins into Blender real quick. So go ahead and open up Blender. Whenever you get to this screen, just click out of it. It doesn't really matter. And then you're going to go to Edit Preferences. Next, you're going to click on Add-ons and you're going to press Install. Now, if you already have some of these, you don't really need to worry um, because if you've already done some 3D work, maybe you've done AGR or um, like Black Ops 2, you should already have Blender script stuff. But if you don't, then I'm just gonna show you guys how to do everything. So you're gonna click on install, go to your download directory. Uh, once you install these, you can delete them. It doesn't matter by the way. Uh, so here's my tutorial. Um, so it should have downloaded as a zip file and all you literally need to do is just click on the zip file and click install add-on. Now you're gonna wanna do Blender source tools, install it, and then once you get back to the screen, you're gonna check the box, install, go back to your directory, and then you're gonna do the import VMF. Now you have to do it in this order or else things will get messed up. So just do the Blender source tools first and then do the VMF importer. Make sure that they're all ticked on. And if you go to community um, and you're not seeing it, just type in like Blender and then you see this, Blender source tools. And then to find the uh, VMF importer, just type in import. And then it should be the first thing that pops up. And if it doesn't, just uncheck the enabled and it'll be down here. So once you have both of them installed and everything's checked on, go ahead and just close out of Blender. The next step that we're going to be doing is getting the maps from the CSGO game files. Now the good thing about this method of doing the maps compared to Hamier, which is for Unreal Engine, is that first of all, it doesn't take forever. Uh, there are, you know, usually no errors. There shouldn't be any errors, or else you, unless you did something completely wrong. And it's very like user friendly. It's very newbie friendly. So you're gonna want to basically just open up your BSP source, and you have to make sure that you have Java installed. Obviously, if you don't, I'm pretty sure that there will be just like a like zip file look right here. But basically, install Java and then restart your computer, and then open up BSP source. Next, you're going to want to go to File, Add, and then you're gonna want to go to where you installed CS:GO. So I'm gonna go to this PC. You, it doesn't really matter. Obviously, just find your Steam install. Mine's under games, Steam, and then basically once you get to the Steam folder, click on Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and then we're going to click on CSGO, Maps, and then here's your maps. So basically, uh, I would recommend doing all of these at once, uh, just to basically get it over and get it you know, done with, that way you don't have to do it in the future, and then you can delete BSP Source. But I'm just going to be showing you guys how to do one map, uh, just how to get one map into Blender. And if you're going to want to do all of the maps at once, just make a folder and call it like CSGO maps. And then we're going to export it into here. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do Office, for example. So you're going to click on Office, you're going to click Open. Next, you're going to go to Other and Extract Embedded Files. Now, if you don't do this, you're probably going to have some issues. Uh, just please make sure that you do this. Now, you're going to press Decompile and select that CSGO Maps folder that we just made. Hit Save, and it should start running through all of the uh, things. Now, that literally took uh, two seconds. It could take anywhere from, obviously, two seconds like it just did for me to around a minute if it's like a huge file or a huge map. So just close out of it once you're done and you should have office and then 
office dot or underscore dvmf. Next, we're going to open up our Blender. One thing that I did forget to mention is that you have to set up your VMF importer. So go to preferences and then obviously find your VMF importer and then click the arrow down below it and we're going to basically configure it. So you're going to want to select a cache folder. So basically choose your drive that has the most space that you don't really care about. Create a folder and call it a CSGO map cache, whatever. Select the folder and then press accept. That's what I've done right here, and it'll basically just dump all the cache that you like that is created while importing these maps into that folder. Now to create a game definition, all you have to do is just press this little button and then hit uh, detect from a game directory, and then you're gonna want to go to wherever you installed CS:GO. So for me, that is games, Steam, and then from here, once you get to the Steam folder, it's going to be universal no matter where you installed it, and then you're going to go to Steam Apps, Common. Counter-Strike, and then CSGO. Once you've gotten into the CSGO folder, you don't have to click anything else, just press Detect Valve Game Directory. And there you go, you got CSGO. So now basically what you can do is you can go ahead and restart your Blender and then we'll go ahead and get on to the next steps. So now that we have the maps finally exported, you're pretty close actually to getting to the maps, being able to be edited, whatever you wanna do. You're gonna just basically want to go to File, import and then valve map format next you're going to want to want to go to where we just exported the maps to so for me csgo maps and then you want to click on the dot vmf don't click on the folder click on the vmf of the map that you want to import for me that's office next operator presets it doesn't really matter game definition this is very important because it will pull the textures and everything from the game files so make sure that you click on counter strike global offensive Next, solids, don't really mess with it, it's fine. Props, don't really mess with it, it's fine. Materials, you're gonna want to make sure that you press simple materials. It doesn't matter whether you're exporting to other programs or keeping it in Blender, it's just gonna make things very easy down the road if you just press simple materials. Next, lights, obviously if you don't want lights, uncheck it. Sky, if you don't want the sky, uncheck it. And if you want it to be a higher resolution sky, uh, just replace it like 2048 2k and then for me scale I would put it on one um, there's obviously situations where you want it to be smaller or whatever um, basically default is just 0.01 so uh, it doesn't really matter and then all you're gonna want to do is just press import VMF now it'll take a while and one thing I did forget to mention is that to see the progress of it you're gonna want to go to window and then toggle like console and it'll just basically give you like a rundown of everything that's going on. But um, it really shouldn't take a long time. It should take anywhere from like five to 15 minutes. Um, and it's just really simple. Like you've pretty much once it's done importing, you've already got your map open. Okay guys, so once you all have finished importing your map, everything should be here. And uh, real quick, just so that you can make sure that everything is okay, you're going to want to press N on your keyboard. So obviously once you're in here, N. And then if you're on a newer version of Blender, there will be three tabs on the right. If you're on an older version of Blender, I don't know which exact version that they switched it on. It'll be under here. Just basically find where it says view and then uh, just change the end to like, add, just basically add an extra zero. So that way it goes from 10 or 1000 to 10,000. And then boom, as you all can see, we have our map. You can just move around like this. Really simple. So the next step is to just press this button right here. It'll start loading the textures and it'll let you preview it with the textures. And as you all can tell, uh, it might take a second to load because uh, obviously it's loading textures, so it'll be a minute. Everything looks fine right here. And if you want to view it with the lighting, although there's not really a reason to, you're gonna press the button right next to the uh, material button. And there you go. Now you're viewing your map with lighting and the materials everything looks fine everything looks good now in order to get the sky uh to work you're going to want to go down here it'll usually be below the map that's what i've learned uh and you're going to want to press this button right here I'm sorry this button right here and uncheck extras next we're going to just highlight this down here click on object and then transform vmf sky 
What that'll do is it'll basically, it'll just make it the correct size and it'll put it around the map and everything will work fine. So if you're going to start working in Blender, if you're going to retexture all of that in Blender, great. You're, you've gotten your map in here, you're done. But if you're going to transfer it to something like Cinema 4D or Houdini or 3ds Max, whatever, basically, like I'm doing, um, you're, you're going to want to click on it, file, external data, and unpack all of the files. And then just click right there again. And then you're going to want to click file, external data, and then pack all into blend. And then file, export, FBX choose a directory anywhere i'm just going to do my desktop just for you know this uncheck selected objects that doesn't really matter now if you want to bake the textures or embed the textures into the fbx click on path mode copy and then check the box right there next scale obviously whatever doesn't really matter bake armature and make sure that add leaf bones is off geometry everything's fine so obviously just export as an FBX. Now this should really only take like 20 seconds. Uh, although you might be thinking like it's a big map, shouldn't it take longer? But I don't know how it works, but it really doesn't take that long. So now that we have it, uh, open up something like Cinema 4D or whatever you're going to be working in. Click on file, open, and then I'm gonna choose my FBX here. Basically, just I don't know the same import settings for you know whatever application you're going to be using, but just turn on textures and disable all the animation options. Then click OK. This shouldn't really take that long as it's not that big of a file, uh, but it could take a while if you have issues with the textures. If you're in your scene after you've imported and you can't find where your map is, basically just click on one of the props and for Cinema 4D it's O and then boom, you've got your map. So everything's good. That's how you get maps into other softwares, other programs that really shouldn't take long. It took me about 15 minutes to get everything uh, into Cinema 4D from Blender all the way from nothing. So if you guys did enjoy if this helped you out at all, please like and comment just to like help other people see this as it will push it through the algorithm to other people. I'm really just making this to help people out, so just comment down if it didn't. Tell me your issue and I'll try to help you out. If there's some things that I touched on that you all didn't really understand, please just add me on my Discord or, add, or message me on Twitter or just leave a comment. All of that stuff will be in the description below, but that's pretty much it and have a good day.